seen many initiatives and approaches over the years. None seem to have worked uh, if we take a look at these latest figures and this latest incident. What do you think has happened? Were they the wrong ideas or have they not just been introduced or enforced properly? I think there's lots of good ideas that are out there and I think that the youth clubs, the youth services, the issues here are not the ideas so much as the resourcing. Policing has been cut, youth services have been cut, neighbourhood teams which are the, the, the hub of policing where they work with local communities, where they get, uh, go out and they uh, work with uh, youth groups and so on in order to keep young kids out of uh, crime. And because of all these services that have been cut, this has had a huge detrimental impact on policing and partnership working. Um, but, you know, uh, uh, my condolences to Tyson Fury, and he's one of these type of people who has a huge, huge following, a huge, huge platform. He comes from the boxing world, and as your colleague was just saying just now, it's services like those that are have been cut to young people so that they can't go to these clubs, so that they can't go out and take up sport because there is nowhere for them to go. And they actually end up out on the streets carrying knives and then uh, getting involved in criminal activity and violence. So, so you, you still see it as a, as a social issue, then one of social deprivation and poverty as well as a crime issue? Well, it's all of those combined together. If you go to some of these areas where you've got young children and you've got families that are on low incomes, both parents are working or the single parent families, they're having to work long, hard hours. They can't keep an eye on what their children are doing. So the kids are going out. The kids feel that they're not getting what they want in terms of what some of the other children or young people have got. They get groomed by elders uh, to go into gangs. And then once they're into that net, it's really, really difficult difficult for them to get out of it. I worked at Hackney Police Station as the Detective Chief Inspector, running the gangs unit, working with local communities, working with partners, collaborating and uh, initiating uh, activities to get young people out and exit them from crime areas. It's very, very difficult. And I think added to that, you know, the government are saying it's either a 10% or a 5% increase. The fact is, it's an increase. And when you yeah. look at what's gone on in the last two years in terms of COVID, gangs, drugs, crime has been uh, uh, sort of underground and now people are getting revenge they're coming out they want their corners back they want the areas that they police in terms of their criminal activity and there's um, all this kind of activity that's going on yeah and, and you know when you actually talk to the youngsters uh, themselves you will know that many of them just say look i have to carry a knife it's for self-defense everyone else is doing it and it's very difficult to break that uh, very difficult and you, you've got kids going to school that are carrying knives and we're not just talking about bread knives or normal knives you're talking about zombie style knives and swords and axes that they're getting from somewhere online where they've got easy access to get to them or going into shops getting someone older for them to go and buy these these knives it's kudos it's self-defense uh, and it has no um you know, it has huge impact on them because once you pull out a knife, it's, it's either game over for you or it's game over for the other person. And yeah. the other thing that is really important here is the, 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 uh, the courts that are not giving prison sentences for adults, for example, who have carried knives for a second occasion when they can actually jail them, put them into prison, but they're not utilizing those services. And all these people are doing are thinking, it's okay for me to carry a knife because I'm, I'm only going to get community service order, a few hours here and there, I'll go back out and I'll continue to carry that knife. And it's a vicious circle.